Here, the one hand technique is demonstrated on a medical model with suture materials. Start by turning the tip of the needle towards the shaft of the needle holder and fixing it there. While tying the knot, you will need neither needle nor needle holder so that this way you are protected from needle stick injuries. By holding the needle holder toward the palm of your non-dominant hand, you can control the tension in the long end of the thread. Your thumb, index and middle fingers can be used to hold onto the thread. Hold the short end with the middle, index and little fingers of your dominant hand, while the palm is faced upwards. Then rotate your hand to stretch the thread between your thumb and index finger. Now use your index finger to make a loop with the long end of the thread and place the loop under the stretched short end, so the index finger is caught in a loop. Now release the short end of the thread from the third to the fifth finger of the dominant hand and pull it through the loop. Grip it with the index finger and thumb and tighten the knot as you cross your arms. Keep the short end between your thumb and index finger and rotate your hand until the palm faces upwards and the suture lies across the third to the fifth finger. Also place the long end of the thread across these fingers without releasing the thread from the non-dominant hand. Bend your middle finger and catch the short end of the thread, which is briefly released from the thumb and forefinger, and thus flicked through the loop. Tighten the knot, this time your arms open. You have now made a square knot. Repeat the movement from the first and second throws to improve the knot stability by making another square knot on top. You will therefore cross your arms on the third throw and open your arms for the fourth throw. Place the knot to the side of the wound edge so the knot does not prevent the wound from closing. Cut the ends of the thread about one centimetre from the knot.